Okay, so today's video, um, I'm gonna be doing or showing you a miles per gallon test that I did on the Ram 1500 with the 5.7 liter Hemi engine. Um, it has some modifications onto it, so I'll go over that with you guys right now. Um, when I did, I've always been changing stuff, but uh, in this particular video, I'll go ahead and tell you what the modifications were to the vehicle and how it achieved such high mile uh, per gallon. So the mods that are done to the vi uh, vehicle that you'll see in this video are a Diablo Sport tune. Um, it's a Diablo Sport i2 tuner. I've since moved on from that, but these are the specs. I had that, um, and it had the 91 octane tune on it. I also had a custom bored out throttle body, so it was bored out to 85 millimeters. Um, some of the stuff that I'm just giving you guys um, uh, info on, it won't necessarily change gas mileage, but um, the factors that I do think change gas mileage are going to be the K&N um, cold air intake, and also I've deleted the mechanical fan, the one that's uh, operated by a clutch on the front of the engine, and um, I installed a V6 electric fan so there's less uh, parasitic drag on the engine at all times. Um, as far as exhaust goes, it's pretty much stock uh, cat-back exhaust, or even catalytic converters are still on it, but it does have uh, JVA shorty headers, and those are uh, wrapped with heat wrap as well, which helps keep uh, keep uh, heat and energy inside the pipe so that air can flow faster, is the science behind it at least. Anyways, you guys can uh, research that part for yourself, but that's supposed to be the theory of it behind it. Um, that's pretty much it that would uh, give it better gas mileage. As far as wheels, I find that wheels make a big difference. Um, for this particular test, I have uh, stock factory 17 inch wheels on the truck. Um, with factory size tires, I think they're like 275 tires, the good years that come stock on a factory 17. So that's what's done to it and also important to note is it is stock ride height and it is two wheel drive and it has an 8 speed transmission um, which helps keep the RPM lower. It also has a 392 gear ratio so that would be hurting uh, fuel economy is the 392 gears but um, it's doing pretty good. Um, th like I said this test was done driving like an absolute old person as slow as you could possibly go on the freeway without people flipping you off and whatnot but um, let's get into the video. I try to be as thorough as I could on the test. Any questions ask me below but let's get into the video first then we'll go from there. So I'm at 7-Eleven right now. We're gonna go ahead and put some gas in this baby. I'm driving to uh, Texas uh, Motorplex right now. We're going to uh, streetcar takeover. So I'm gonna do this on the way there and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so as full as you could possibly get it. And we have $11 and 3.43 gallons in there. Um, they do only have 93 here, so I put 93 in. Um, shouldn't uh, make too much of a difference, I hope, on gas mileage, but 93 is in the tank. Let's see what happens on this round. So we're fully fueled again. We're going to go ahead and reset this. So we reset our trip. I'm going to reset this one as well. So everything's reset. Let's go ahead and try it again. All right, guys or girls, this is the kind of mileage that I was hoping to see. So we got locked in at 60, which is the speed limit right now. Oh my God, that glare for you guys though. Hopefully you guys can see this. Basically, it's cruising along. We got locked in at 60 miles per hour. Sorry about the glare, but basically you can see it's doing a lot better. <clears throat> Our average is 20 miles per gallon right now. There, hopefully you guys can see for a sec without the sun. And it's clipping along anywhere from 25 miles per gallon upwards on a flat plane. So let's see what this uh, this hopefully does. We've got about an hour stretch. Hopefully I can uh, get a good indication for you guys. bit of traffic here so this is gonna affect our numbers slightly but right now we're sitting at a 25 mile per gallon average which is more in line with what we were showing before when we uh, briefly talked about it so hopefully we can maintain this hopefully we can get out of traffic I've been setting the cruise at about 60 because the speed limit limit here so obviously the lower speed is gonna be a little bit less wind resistance get better mileage but um, I wouldn't expect you guys to always drive Super slow, but um, we're just trying to see what this thing can run. So, looks like it's opening up a bit. Let's continue. 
All right, guys, hopefully you can see this right now. Our average is 26.7 miles per gallon. Uh, our speed's been averaging between just around 60 miles per hour. Um, I was using the cruise, but now I'm just kind of footing it because I'm in a bit of heavy traffic. A lot of, well, not necessarily traffic, I should say, but basically just a lot of cars on the road. So they're always kind of stopping in front of me and brake checking. So rather than just setting the cruise, I'm kind of just just keeping my foot around 55 60 so but it seems to be doing pretty good if we can average about 27 miles per gallon I think we're gonna be doing okay obviously the screen or dash can be a little bit off but let's see what happens okay so we're now 44 miles exactly into this trip holy glare I can't seem to there we go can't seem to not get glare on the screen but we're averaging 27 27.1 miles per gallon now Sitting at around 60 still. You can see it's just holding it at 60 on basically a flat plane. Seems to net me about 30, but obviously we're not driving in a perfect world where it's completely flat and there's ups and downs and I had to get on the highway from the gas station. So all that's taken a factor into the calculation. But um, yeah, basically if we can average around 27, we'll see what the hand calculation does, but it's pretty good. So again, 44.6 miles into this thing. I got about, I think, 10 more miles till I get where I'm trying to go right now, and uh, we'll see what we got. All right, so we have arrived at the gas station, and let's see how much this dash lies. So, let me put it in park here for a second. We are at 27.2 miles per gallon. Let me turn it off, because <laughs> it's wasting away as it sits here running. So... We averaged about 27.2. I can get it back to where we want. So 27.2, it changed to 27.1 just here. Here's our trip information. So we went 57.4 miles. Our average miles per gallon was 27.1. Average mile per hour was 52. So of course I was having to drive from the gas station onto the freeway and vice versa, drive from the freeway into the gas station, so that compensates for a little bit of lower speed. Um, let's go ahead, throw some pump gas back in here and see what we're at. So we're gonna go ahead, put the highest grades, 93 at this one again. I'm guessing it should take around maybe $10. Let's see, see what she takes. Okay guys, I cannot seem to get much more in here. It is basically to the rim. It's sitting there. And I only got 475 in it. <laughs> There's no way. 475, I got 1.584 gallons. And it is settled, but it's still in the neck. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's still in the neck. Uh, I don't know, let's go ahead and calculate what that is. Let me grab my receipt. Okay guys, so I'm beyond stumped. We went 57.4 miles. This thing says 27.1 miles per gallon average. I was only able to fit 1.584 gallons in my truck, which if you do the math, 57.4 miles divided by, oh, what happened in here? 57.4 miles divided by 1.584 gallons. That's showing 36 miles a gallon. So I gotta try and squeeze more fuel in this thing apparently. So um, my gas gauge is beyond full <laughs> and I'm just, I don't know, I'm just stumbled here what's going on. So I don't know if it's getting ridiculously good gas mileage. Let me see if I can squeeze more gas in this thing. Uh, you had to have prepay here, so it's a bit of a bit of a exercise. But let me go ahead and see if I can uh, squeeze more gas in this thing and see if it takes any more. It was right up to the neck; it was bubbling. Maybe it had a bit of air in the tank. But um, hand calculated, this thing's saying 27.1. I can only fit 1.58 gallons in there with it clicking off. And you guys saw that it was bubbling over. Let's see if we can squeeze more in here. Maybe I can squeeze another dollar or two. I don't know. All right, so we were just at that Exxon, but uh, maybe the pump's a little bit different. Anyways, I came across the street to this Texaco. 
they don't have because <laughs> I'm going to that race event over there they're all out of premium and uh, mid grade so we're gonna have to put 87 in I'm not gonna flog it so I'm not too worried about it a tiny bit in there for already full I just want to see if we can fit any more in the tank maybe a different pump I'm just more perplexed that I can't seem to get much fuel in there so I'm gonna go ahead and just see if I can top off with this let's see what happens Alright guys, so I am not lying, I cannot fit anything else in here. It is just clicking off like crazy. Splashing up. It's literally full to the rim here. Maybe if I absolutely hold it out and try to squeeze every ounce I can in there <laughs> we can get a tiny bit more if we want to be super critical on how much gas mileage this truck is getting okay is this fair as possible guys I got gas right up to the neck here okay I'm gonna end up spilling this everywhere so I'm gonna go ahead and call it good I fit another half a gallon in there so it's still sitting here bubbling up to the neck so I think that's as full as we're gonna get it let's cap that factor this into our equation and see if we truly did get that much gas mileage out of this truck so print receipt we are going to say yes receipt okay guys we got both receipts in front of us to manage to squeeze a tiny bit more in there but she's pretty well full so maybe not the 36 miles per gallon we were anticipating or i was not even expecting that that number is just scary so um we got 1.58 from the exxon across the street and i was thinking maybe it was the pump maybe you know i had to Maybe it wasn't allowing me to put as much gas in there. Maybe the tank needed some time to settle. So we went across the street to the Texaco. We fit in another half gallon. So let's add those two together. Again, 57.5 miles we went. This thing's saying about 27 miles per gallon. Okay, so both together, the 1.54 and the 0.540. Um, all together ends up being 2.124 gallons. So let's go ahead and take our 57.5 on the dash. 57.5 and divide that by 2.124. And we get exactly 27.07 miles per gallon, guys. So this thing just got 27 miles per gallon on that tank. And no games, no gimmicks, like you guys said, or you see you guys saw when I tried filling it the first time to the rim. Uh, basically, I could only put almost five bucks in there. And I had to, just to verify, went across the street with a different pump, just see if I could top it off and topping it off a little bit more after it kind of settled or you know the air got out of the tank. We were able to basically get the 27 miles per gallon of the tank so we're full. okay guys so, so that's the test no BS not trying to play games with the numbers um, I honestly just kind of giving you guys some background I honestly couldn't care less if it got this gas mileage because where I'm taking the truck and the direction we're headed with the build on the truck we're throwing fuel economy and gas mileage out the window with a supercharger and bigger wheels and all that good stuff so I just did it for fun just to see out of curiosity what it could get if uh, if we tried to focus on fuel economy with this particular vehicle and um, any of the mods that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you guys can find um, find those modifications on this channel. I've taken that truck from bone stock to what you see it in this video and even further at this point um, as far as modifications, improvements, all that stuff, you'll find it on this channel. So make sure to check out those videos as well on here. And uh, yeah, it ended up getting about 27 miles per gallon. Uh, you saw that I even went to two gas stations to make sure there wasn't any issues with filling it up from one pump to the other that maybe one was clicking off sooner, but it ended up clocking at 27 miles per gallon and uh, hand calculated and on the on the dash and also the tire correction was correct for those wheels, for the 17 inch wheels, so no games there. 
um, but I was pretty surprised that it could get that if you wanted it to. And like I said, it, the, the way I had to drive to get that miles per gallon is you'd have to lose speed. You know, if there was any sort of incline, you'd have to lose speed and try to take advantage of gaining speed downhills and really be conscious of trying to trying to pedal it to um, you know not put your foot in it too much or not get the downshift. So it was work to to get that gas mileage, but it is uh, it is possible. If, uh, if it's something that you want to do. But if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up for me. Make sure you're subscribed. We're also on Instagram, same spelling as this channel, at Boosted Motorsports. But uh, we're also on Facebook, too, if you guys want to follow along or join our group chat there. Wherever you guys want to follow along is cool with me, but thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.